Welcome back guys. Today I will be going over mini screen recording programs and then showing you which is the best one for gaming that is free. Now this list includes all software that let you record unlimited amount of time with no restrictions with the exception of watermarks and extra pro features on some. And some of these programs are just all around completely free. But let's see how they all hold up against some of the most popular games out right now. We will be judging all the programs by quality of video, video size, interface slash options, and overall ease of use. Each one will receive a grade and at the end we'll see which one comes out on top. So let's begin. First on our list is OBS Studio. OBS Studio is a jewel in the fact that everything is completely free to use and there are no restrictions. You're able to record and even stream with open source software. And the setting facts of it don't stop there. The quality is almost lossless and comes out great, but in some areas you can see a little blurriness. So it gets an A- for quality. Even after the video is done and recorded on a computer, the size is very small for the quality and amount recorded. Each video is recorded around roughly 5 minutes or so. With only about 400 megabytes used up for the video, size gives an A. Now because OBS is meant to be used as a streaming slash recording software, there are many different options and settings when it comes to how you want your recording. This includes letting you choose precisely what source you want your video and audio to come from, but choosing multiple at a time. And even 6 output files to choose from, therefore options gives an A. The only main downfall that comes with using OBS is the fact that it can get too much for some users. With all the options with the program, you can get lost, but once you get down to what you're doing, it becomes a breeze, so ease of use to get to B-. I would say that OBS is a great software that records close to perfect videos and has a ton of material packed in for, to support many different features. And with this, I'm going to give it a total grade of A-, minus and a high recommend for users with better than average technical experience. The next program on the list is Flashback Express Screen Recorder. Flashback is a good program when it comes to what you get for it being free, but the output quality is close to garbage. The application does come with the built-in video editor, which is nice, but the render times are ridiculously long. The video doesn't look bad, and it comes free of watermarks, but it comes out very, very choppy, to a point where it's not worth it, so I give quality a D. The size of the video is close to OBS's size, but a little larger, with roughly half a gigabyte for 5 minutes of footage, but you can only export the video in WMV format unless you get the pro version, so size gives a B+. For a beginner, Flashback is a great program with not too many confusing features, but yet there is still a lot for advanced user. With the video editor built in, I'd give options an A. Using a program is not much of a challenge, but when rendering and exporting the file, it can get annoying to use. Ease of use gets a B-. At the end of the day, Flashback is not a good program at all, but it has some cool features and no watermark or time restriction. It's great for a free program, but the video is way too choppy. Maybe it's just because it's running PUBG, but I would not recommend using this for any advanced graphical games. So Flashback Express receives a D. Next up on our list is DVD Video Soft Free Screen Recorder. I'm just going to call it DVS. So DVS is a super simple and free screen recorder for any type of option, but games I would say aren't a strong point. The program's recorded video comes out super choppy with watermarks at the beginning of each recording, but the quality does seem lossless and quite nice. If this was to be used with recording other tasks, I'd better do an excellent job, but it seems like it can't even handle Fortnite, so the quality receives a D. The size of the videos though are amazing, with roughly 5 minutes recorded, only 75 megabytes were used. That's really small, so I'd give size an A+. The software does not seem to have much there to be honest. The interface is a small rectangle with like 6 options and the settings aren't too in depth, but they can still give you what you need. Options get a C. The best thing about this program is the fact that it's so easy to use if you're amateur recording. This is just for you. Just click on where you want to record and there you're done. You can even pause and resume the recording if you like. Ease of use because an A. Overall I would give you DVS a D and would not recommend it for gaming. Next up is XSplit Broadcaster. XSplit is very similar to OBS, as in it can stream and record, it has similar interfaces, and is free, but with a little more restriction than OBS. In XSplit, you can record videos up to 720p without a watermark, but if you want to go above 720p, then you have to use a watermark on your video, or just upgrade to premium. So that's the downside, but the video quality comes out really good with no choppiness or frame loss. I'll give quality a B+, but the resolution restriction is a loss. Size is also similar to OBS, with about 5 minutes recorded, only around 470 megabytes used up. Size is an A-. minus. There are a lot of options and settings for your streams or recordings for XSplit, when choosing where you want your video and audio sources to come from, and at what resolutions. I'll say it once again, it's very similar to OBS, but just not as good. I'll give options an A-. minus. XSplit isn't meant for beginners, because there is a lot going on and can get very confusing. Ease of use gives a B. Overall, XSplit is a good screen recorder, but it's just a ripoff of OBS with less free features. So I would give it a low B, but I would not recommend it over OBS. 
So next up on our list is the GeForce Experience Recorder. Here's a program that is absolutely great and the one I use most often, but can only be used with a GTX graphics card because it takes a recording directly from your display adapter. To use it, you have to download the GeForce Experience program, which is a program that does many things, which includes optimizing your games and updating your drivers, and it also records. The quality of the video is absolutely amazing though, almost lost the quality and super smooth. I'd give it an A+. The size is a little bit of a downfall when it's a recording roughly 5 minutes, the size was about 1.7 gigabytes, which isn't bad because of the quality, but this can be changed in the settings. Size gets a B-. The variety of options is not too overwhelming, but still has enough for what you need, including quality, shortcuts, and also has a special feature that when a key is pressed, it records your last 15 minutes of gameplay so you don't miss anything. Options receives an A-. And finally, I would give ease of use an A also, because it's as simple as assigning a hotkey, pressing it, and you're done. The GeForce Experience game recorder is so good and everything is completely free, but if you don't have a GTX graphics card, you're out of luck. It's a gets A still. The last but not least software on this list is Microsoft's own game screen recorder, built in in every Windows newer device slash software. This tool is as simple as pressing the Windows key plus the G button and having the ability to record, but let's see how it holds up against other programs. The quality of the video is not the best with some blurriness and lag that occurs, but not bad for the convenience of the tool quality gets B-. The video size is really good with only around 200 megabytes used for 5 minutes of gameplay so size gets an A+. The variety of options is not much with the lack of settings so you can't customize that much. I give it a D. The program is pretty easy to use though with just a combination of two buttons and then press the red dot and you're set so I give easy use an A. Overall, the built-in program is not bad, but not the best either. It's great that it's free and comes with all newer window versions, but the quality is where it goes down. Overall, I'd give it a C. At the end of the day, here's how all the free game screen recorders add up. Topping the list is the GeForce Experience. It's only good if you have a GTX graphics card, but has great quality and very convenient. Second on the list is OBS Studio. A little more complicated program than other softwares, but great quality and can stream. Third on the list is Exploit Broadcaster, a very similar OBS studio but more restrictions and not that good of a quality. Fourth is Windows Game Recorder, simple, built in. Fifth, Flashback Express Recorder, very bad quality at the end of the day but has a built in editor if you like that. And last on the list is DVD Video Soft Recorder. It's super easy to use but doesn't have much to offer and not great quality. So there you guys have the best free screen recorders for gaming. I hope you liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Oh,